But cold air is taking over in West Michigan in the coming days, and that means you need to be very careful about exposure to these cold temperatures. Frostbite can quickly become a serious health concern in these conditions. Michael Barron's joins us now to explain how to spot and treat this serious issue, Michael. Yeah, when temperatures tumble, it only takes a matter of minutes before you're at risk for frostbite. And according to Cleveland Clinic's Dr. Andrew Yoakum, frostbite can become serious and irreversible if not caught early. Prevention is key in frostbite. Uh, you need to, first off, when you're going out into the environment, think very deliberately about what you're going to wear, what you need to protect from, um, or do you even need to go out? Frostbite can occur when the temperature falls below 31 degrees. The body tissues freeze, feeling like a cold burn. Painful prickling turns into a throbbing sensation and the nerves may go numb. This can cause permanent damage to the skin. Dr. Yoakum says exposed extremities are more at risk because they receive lower blood flow. He suggests dressing in layers and wearing good footwear to help protect the fingers and the toes. While everyone is susceptible to frostbite, the most at risk are those who work outside or maybe more vulnerable, like the elderly or the very young. Kids are out, you know, sled riding or playing in the snow. They're not thinking about frostbite. So at some point in time, you have to step in and say, OK, I think I think we've been out here long enough. We don't want to end up in that situation. Let's check you out, take a little break, warm up inside before you know we we go down that road. Dr. Yoakum says if you notice your skin becoming discolored, white hard or leathery, get out of the cold quickly and begin passive rewarming. Here are some tips to know when you do that rewarming. Don't rub body parts together outside or try to heat them with a stove or hair dryer. Don't use a heating pad either. Some things that you should do, though, use a warm bath or a damp towel to help warm up exposed skin. However, be careful when using water while numb, as it may be difficult to tell the actual temperature, and you don't want to burn your skin any further. And speaking of frostbite, we're certainly going to see the risk for it here in the coming days. Take a look at some of those uh, feels like temperatures in the coming mornings. When you factor in that wind, negative 12 as we head into Thursday, negative 18 as we go into Friday. The weekend getting a little bit better, but certainly going to be quite cold here for a number of days, especially I think uh, as we head into the first part of that weekend. One final piece of advice when in doubt, always don't hesitate to go to the hospital to be checked out. All right, Michael, thank you.